welcome to my channel well today's been very frustrating for me um sometimes i have i have this rage inside of me that uh it's pretty hard to control and it's it's not so much the sheath it's a combination of things like milo that dog oh my god he gets out on that balcony and he barks and he barks and he barks and then i guess the owners or whatever find out about him you know or finally get around to telling him to shut up or come in and he shuts up and then you start to go back to sleep again and man then he starts up again and i went up screaming in my bedroom shut up you know and i'm picturing in my mind what i want to do to them <laughs> you know it's 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 really hard sometimes for me to control my rage and i do but i mean it pisses me off it just pisses me off and then i started thinking about cold steel going on for years years they know that this stuff dulls the edge they know it they've got to know it i mean they if they don't know it they don't deserve to be in business anymore you know and i start combining that with other things that are going on that pisses me off about the way our country is going and everything and it's like God, you know, I just want to snap sometimes, you know. I just want to lose it and just become an issue myself, you know. And, I mean, that's where, you know, having a conscious, um, realizing you got to think before you act. But, I mean, oh, man. I, th I think that's one reason why... I never had kids. I was always afraid that a kid would do something that would cause me to snap and I would hurt the kid, you know. And uh, I never wanted to put myself in that situation, so I never had kids. I mean, it's kind of a, a bizarre way of, of doing things, but hey, whatever works, you know. It's like, if you know you can't be a responsible pet owner, then don't own a pet. Uh, all they've got to do is keep this dog off that balcony at night. Because people got to sleep. Um, you can't just have... These apartments are not soundproof. You can't have, like, uh, white noise going on or earplugs. Try putting in earplugs. I've done this before. Try putting in earplugs for a while. You're going to get wax and packed it in your ears. It's not comfortable, and even then, uh, there's there's a problem. It's just irritating things bug me, and I I try to tell myself, you know, calm down, take a deep breath, don't let it bother you. But I mean, man, it it's when it's when thing like this. There's going to be some good coming out of it because I want to make my own sheath. I've already cut out this i'm waiting for the snaps to come in because you don't want to you want to put your your straps and everything on first i've already you know decided all right i looked at how not to put a strap on don't put it towards the cutting edge you know i've known this for a while i'm going to put the snap back over this way but um it's like you know when life throws you <laughs> a bunch of lemons make lemonade out of it it isn't always that easy you know it isn't always that easy to to turn something negative around into a positive but um that's ideally that's the best way to do something you know i mean i could look at this and go ah, cold still why the hell did you do this ah. and then that's not going to get me anywhere it's just going to get me high blood pressure <laughs> Uh, at my age, you know, it could lead to a lot worse things, and uh, I, I try to I try to find positive things out of stuff. But man, sometimes when you're pushed, man, when you're when things just keep getting on your, it's like that straw that broke the camel's back, man. It's it's 
irritating things that just keep going on and on. Oh, my God. I mean, that's why I'm doing this video. I couldn't go to sleep. It's, it's, not, it's no big deal. You know, I'm retired, but still, uh, you you got to get your sleep. And you can't sleep if something like this is going on. That dog, it's a high-pitched bark. It goes through walls. It goes through your brain. And I mean... Oh, man. And then I start imagining things I would do to them. You know, the, the dog or the people that... Oh. It's not good. It's not positive. <laughs> and... Um, you don't want to think about these things too much. Because if you keep thinking about them, you're going to convince yourself, yeah, maybe I should go over there and just bang on their door and say, Shut your dog up! What good is that going to do? You know? Then, then I'm going to be the problem. Oh, look at him. He, old guy freaked out. He came over pounding on our door at 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because your dog was barking at 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. Take a deep breath. I don't drink alcohol. If I would, I'd be drinking right now to knock myself out. Um, anyway, I got now I'm just trying to think about how I'm going to put this together. I, I allowed a lot of excess. I've learned from... I haven't made a whole lot of nice sheaths, but I've learned from the other ones you want to allow plenty of room for trimming it. You can always trim it off. But if you make it too short, you're just going to wind up with more. And this is, I mean, this is, a, this is a tool type of leather, you know, so it's kind of thick and everything. I can get another piece. I've still got more of it if I mess this up. Um, but, yeah, man, I, I, don't know, I don't know whatever other people do when, when they reach a point like this where you're Oh, you just want to snap, man. It's just rage. It's like, come on. I... Give me something. Give me something to fight against, you know, instead of a damn dog uh, barking in the middle of the night, you know. Uh... And like I said, this, this, this is a, a thing. I'm worried. I'm concerned about myself. This is why I don't like to get into these states is because... I know what I'm capable of. I, I'm capable of of uh, of doing something I shouldn't do, and I'm old enough to know better. But, uh, man, I, I've got I've I've got some rage in me, man. I, I've I've got some pent up rage that I need to go for a walk. It's too late at night for me to do that. Uh, I need to get some sleep. The damn dog's not going to let me get some sleep. He likes to do it intermittently. Wait until you get me out about 30 minutes and he'll start up again. And, you know, some people say, oh, it's not the dog's fault. Little dogs like that, that bark at every... He barks at squirrels. He barks at cats. He barks at people walking by. He barks at everything. There are a lot of other dogs around here. They don't bark at everything. Their owners keep them, you know, controlled. This is the same guy that when he's, um, when he's watching sports, he yells out loud, real loud. You can hear him all across the compound. So, you know, maybe the dog's picking up on what the owner does. Uh, but... It's all in how you and and how you uh, raise your dog or train your dog. You know, it's like the uh, the boy who cried wolf. You know, he, if he's always barking, if he's always sitting there saying wolf, 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 you're gonna ignore him when there's really a good reason to be listening to him. Uh, when I lived in San Antonio, my neighbor across the road, she was the landlady had a bunch of dogs and they would always bark at something and 
I caught myself thinking the same thing. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to open up. I'm going to open up on them. You know, I'm just going to start blasting. Give them something to bark about. And I had, I, I, that's when I started getting a white noise generator and earplugs and everything else. And I never snapped, but man, did I want to. I mean, you can only hold in things for so long. And then there's, there, it's like a pressure cooker. You know, it's got to have a release somehow. There's got to be a relief valve. And for me, it's my mind. I've, I've got I've to calm my mind down when stuff like this goes on because uh, I know what I'm capable of. And I don't want to see that come loose. I've I got to keep this... I've got to keep my beast within control. And it's not always easy, especially if you're being pushed. If you're being prodded all the time, it's like a bear in a cage, you know, with people come up poking them with a stick all the time. One of these times, somebody's going to get close enough for that bear to get them. And then what are they going to do? They're going to blame the bear. Oh, the bear was too aggressive. Nah, it was in a cage and it was being tortured. I don't know. I had to get this rant out and I'm probably not even going to put it up, but... It just pisses me off, man. That there's so many irresponsible people in this world. They don't care about anybody but themselves. They don't. They don't care what their what happens to other people because of their actions. You know. You get a dog and you just let it bark. What? Are you deaf? Do you not hear your own dog barking? You know. Come on. Now I know sooner or later somebody's going to complain to the front office. And eventually, the guy might do something about it. I'm not going to complain to the front office because I'm the type that wants to go confront him directly. Forget this indirect stuff, man. I want to I want to confront him directly and say, man, you really need to do something about that dog. And maybe the next time I see him, I'm going to do that, you know. But I know, as mad as I feel right now, I'm not going to be able to say that in a polite and civilized way. And I'd rather avoid that situation if at all possible because, yeah, it may feel good to say that, but what can come out of that, you know? I, I don't know. Here I am just babbling off, mainly because I can't sleep now. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I hope everybody else is doing better. I hope you find some way. I think pure thoughts. Count sheep. Count to ten or whatever you do when rage occurs. But man, um, I need I need to channel this rage into something productive, and I can't do it right now. So I'm gonna get insomnia again. Stay up all night, and it's gonna affect my health. But Oh, well. Anyways, yeah. I don't like to put up videos where they're, where I'm, like, complaining and stuff. <laughs> and I am complaining right now. I've got a lot to complain about. It's like a grumpy old man. Anyways, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.